Welcome to Lockdown History with Mr Marr. Quick summaries about a range of different historical topics. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most famous figures and events of the 20th century, which was the life of Martin Luther King and his role in the civil rights campaign in America to try and improve rights for black people. Let's start off by looking at his early life. Interestingly, he wasn't born Martin. He was in fact Michael Luther King, although it later changed his name. He was from a very, very religious family and this no doubt affected his ultimate decision to become a Baptist minister and serve his life in the church. As a youth, he was subject, like so many other black people in America, to different examples of racism. This included things such as being told when he could stand or where he could sit on buses, and all of this provoked an anger in King, which he would use later in his life. He's best remembered for his work in civil rights campaigns. King was angered by the extreme injustice that black people faced in America, and he became involved in different campaigns to try and change this. The Montgomery bus boycott saw black people refuse to use buses in protest at the treatment of Rosa Parks, a black woman who had refused to give up her seat for a white man. King played a major role in promoting this campaign, which ultimately saw desegregation on Montgomery buses. Later on, King was involved in setting up the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, which was a group which would campaign for black people's rights and play a major role in the civil rights events which took place. As part of this, he was then involved in different protests all across the South of America. This included in places such as Selma and Birmingham. His most famous civil rights action was undeniably the March on Washington, when hundreds of thousands of people took part in a march and saw King make his most famous speech, which was the I Have a Dream speech, where he spoke about the better future for black and white people. King wasn't just involved in civil rights though, he had other political campaigns as well. For example, and often making him quite unpopular, he was against the Vietnam War. He believed that it was not only a waste of money that could be better spent on tackling poverty at home, but that it unfairly affected black people who would be sent to the front as soldiers. There was other issues as well. He set up what was known as a poor people's campaign. This aimed to tackle the problem of poverty faced not only by black people, but by white people as well. King was a very controversial figure and hated by many people in America. At various times, he was subject to death threats. Then, in April 1968, he went to give a speech in Memphis in Tennessee. While staying at the Lorraine Motel, he was shot by a white supremacist called James Earl Ray and died. This resulted in race riots taking place right across the United States of America, and was also, on April the 7th, declared a National Day of Mourning by President Lyndon Johnson. At King's funeral, his widow asked that they not simply remember the awards that he'd been given throughout his life, but rather a focus on what could be done to continue to improve the rights of black and white people across America.